What's up everybody, Seagull45 here, here today with a video, explaining quickly about the Town Hall 11 update, you guys probably have all seen footage of it by now, so why am I gonna bother showing you guys footage and pictures, cause I'm sure you all have seen it, and yeah, um, this update already seems big, um, I thought they were gonna reveal the entire update in ClashCon, but I guess it's only gonna, I think it's only gonna be, um, I guess, like, the first part of, like, the big reveal of the update is, like, now, and then the other days, maybe tomorrow, and other days will be starting the sneak peeks. So, Town Hall 11 has been confirmed. So, as I said, guys, three things I expected. Something completely random, Town Hall 11, or war tournaments, and I, I Town Hall 11 was the correct answer. And now they added this super OP, like, falcon, eagle, crazy bird-ass defense that has the range of the entire fucking map and shoots a beam of laser that can two-shot a max king holy crap like that's gonna be like i'm like oh great like what could this new defense possibly do and hopefully it's like a freeze tower or something in the center of the base but th that defense is just gonna like i don't know how town hall 10s are gonna trophy push you know like all right like you know there's town hall nines right town hall nines and titans right Town Hall 8s and Titans, or Town Hall 7s and Titans. I have no idea how a Town Hall, like, the Town Hall 9s, the, anything below Town Hall 8 usually would snipe, right? But Town Hall 9s? I mean, how are they gonna maintain? Like, that defense can, like, destroy. But the good thing is they're releasing this in, like, you know, the end of October, early November. So I get to see a month of, like, how people are gonna be able to maybe one-star Town Hall 11, or... New strategies come up, so that Falcon shit defense looks like OP as fuck. You know, when it fucking, you know, three hits max golems, it does splash damage, and it, it does like... But one thing I noticed is I watched the video of the Falcon defense, and it I watched it hit barbarians, but it didn't kill them. So maybe I... maybe it missed? Or maybe it does a percent damage, kind of like earthquake spells. I don't think anybody observed that, but... Watch the defense video. I think it was on Galadon's video. If you watch that video and please come back to me about that percent damage idea. Because I, unless the defense missed and it did like a little bit of damage, I'm pretty sure it hit it head on and it didn't kill the barbarians. But it also like two sh hit a max king. So it probably does like 60% damage per shot or something. I don't know. I think it's a percent damage, like percent HP damage. It does damage by percent of health points or hit points left. That's my guess, but I don't know. But everything that um, is there, it's subject subject to change. But my guess is that's probably going to be final build. It doesn't even have a name yet. And then we were revealed a new hero, I think. It looked like a hero, unless it's something else. And... I don't know, it looked like a weird looking thing with two drills on its arm and then like a tail or something. I don't know what it could be. Uh, it's definitely not a Goblin King, and I don't think, and if they're ever making a Goblin King, it's, I, I would very, very piss the Supercell if they made a Goblin King. Like, because why? Why would they ever make a Goblin like King? Like, what would he do? Just steal, like, resources? Like, great, but for farming and all, but, you know, don't you want to hear that's good in all, pr like, all practical use. Like, the Barbarian King and Archer Queen are good in any situation, pretty much. You could put them in almost any situation, and, you know, heroes are supposed to be- I'm sorry, I just dropped the camera. Heroes are supposed to be very versatile, and I'm sorry if you hear barking. It's just the dogs barking. And this is not Oreo, that's a Nico, at my dad's house. But anyway, uh, yeah, sorry if you hear him barking. He's barking right now. But anyway, um, yeah, Town Hall 11... OP Falcon Defense, Elixir Costing Hero, which is, I love every minute of that, Elixir, you know, that's gonna be awesome, hopefully, you know, my guess is if it's 6 million Elixir, they're gonna add another store to Tunnel 11, but personally, I farm millions upon millions of Elixir, I could farm at least a million or 2 million Elixir a day, so, I mean, I could easily, if the Hero is a 7 grade, uh, seven day upgrade, I can just continuously upgrade that thing, and, yeah, my... And hopefully heroes are going to be available in war. And that thing will be farmed up pretty damn fast. Because people farm elixir is so much easier to farm than, you know, dark elixir. So, very powerful looking hero. OP, 
OP defense, Town Hall 11. What do you guys think about the Town Hall 11 look? I think it looks pretty cool. I did kind of want the blue look to it like everyone predicted. But it's okay. It doesn't matter. And, you know, as much as I wanted war tournaments, maybe they'll add it in a future update. Or maybe, you know, or maybe that'll be part of this update. Because this update's going to be big. And, obviously, town, a new Town Hall is coming out. That's confirmed. So we need to know what are we getting? Are we getting a new? You know, are we gonna get two sixty troop space? Are we gonna get thirteen spell space? Are we gonna get a level seven clan castle? Imagine a level seven clan castle. What the fuck? Like you could have what forty troops? You can carry two dragons. You can carry three witches, uh, a Pekka and a witch. Um, ten wizards. <laughs> what? That sounds godlike. You could bring. Eight balloons, uh, a lava hound, two dragons, uh, five Valkyries, three witches, ten wizards, forty archers, and forty barbarians. So imagine the CCs with two fucking dragons. Like, that sounds insane if they're adding a new clan castle level. Um, yeah, just gonna be crazy. And if they're adding more spell space, are they gonna, you know, just. You know, not add a new spell and just add more spell space. Or are they going to add a completely new spell? And you know what? I just hope, you know, Supercell has probably been working on this update for a while. And I'm sure they're going to do just fine with it. And I'm very excited. And I don't know how powerful this Falcon thing is. Because, you know, what about the War 3 star? I mean, like, how are you going to win wars? Like, seriously. That Falcon thing? Are you, are, you know, are clans still going to be able to, like, Three star or like what? Like I don't know if Town Hall Eleven three stars will ever happen with that fucking OP shit, fucking dragon deadly bitch defense. Like that's a hell of a defense. I don't think I've ever seen a defense with that amount of strength. Like that thing is insane. Like I thought the Infernos are pretty fucking powerful, but that defense just blows them out. But anyway, guys. You know, and the defense is, you know, there's no, like, like for example, a single Inferno can be, is, you know, bad for, you know, Golems, Pekka. I think the strength of that defense is simply Hogs, Barbs, you know, we gotta go, I think, a little bit more troop heavy. Because you really gotta tank that defense and get it shooting on the right troops. Because let's say it shoots, you know, maybe more heavy witch armies will become more popular because... They'll lock on, I don't know, the skeletons or something instead of the witches or something. Like, I mean, I, I mean, the key to that defense is either eliminating it before the raid starts or just completely tanking the shit out of it. But all I know is this is going to be a crazy-ass update, and I don't know what they're going to bring. But And I don't know what they're bringing, but it does not matter. All I know is this update is going to be awesome. And I really hope Supercell, you know, once again comes in and does what the community wants. And, you know, because Supercell overall has really done a great job with the game. And I really think that, you know, they can nail it on the, you know, hit the hammer on the nail with this update. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry I keep looking over. I don't know. I just can't focus on the camera sometimes. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, yeah. Um, please watch, watch the footage you haven't already. You guys... I mean, I'm not making footage. Um, go, please, go check out some other channels. And, you know, see how this, you know, Falcon defense looks. And what do you think that new hero is? And, uh, what, what do you, what, what do you think that new hero is gonna be? What, what is that Falcon Eagle defense called? Like, an Eagle Beam of Death? I don't know. Like, what the fuck is that gonna be called? Like, Eagle's Wing? Or, uh, I don't know. But all I know is that shit is gonna be crazy. And I hope you guys are excited for this update. Let me know down in the comments. And uh, ClashCon seemed pretty cool. The nice war tournament and a lot of cool looking attacks in there. You know, finally trying some three star attacks, which is very nice to see. You know, people trying their three star attacks out because, you know, obviously we're beginning to realize that two stars don't win wars. So, yep, see you guys very soon. Peace.